my name is Lane Erickson. I live in O'Connell, Wisconsin, and I promised everybody I'd show them how to build a homemade wind generator using just basic tools in your garage, just like this one. We're going to start off a little backwards because I have this one already completed. Okay, let's get started. All I have is a simple Phillips screwdriver. I take the pinch bolt out of the tail, remove the tail, which is a piece of quarter inch plexiglass, you can make it any shape you want, it's only about, I don't know, 8 to 10 inches long. I cut a slot in here, quarter inch wide, the same thickness as a plexiglass, put the pinch bolt through here, squeezes it together to hold it good and solid. Next, I have the casing screwed together all the way around. I've already taken out a couple screws. I've got one in here to show you this. Take out the last screw, pop the top off. It's just a six inch PVC pipe cap. You want to get two six inch PVC pipe caps and a piece of six inch PVC pipe. pipe comes in about a 10 foot section so you might as well get the whole thing because you're going to use it to build the blades in the very end. Now the tail is made out of a piece of 2 inch PVC pipe. Quarter inch slot, the width of your tail, whatever you'd like, and a coupling, 2 inch coupling that will slide completely over the pipe. If you got to hollow it out a little bit because sometimes there's a little ridge in there, make sure that slides out. Now, this is what I've done on the inside. We'll get to the alternator part, the, uh, the workings of it. But this is a 10 SI GM alternator, about a 1990s vintage. And you can pick them up in a boneyard. You can find them all over the place. It's the GM produced more of these alternators than any other alternator out there. So they're easy to come by. And then inside the alternator, I went online to windbluepower.com, it's windbluepower, and ordered the insides to this alternator. The rotor, the permanent magnet rotor, and the stator of your choice. So you can check that website out. Next, I cut a piece of one inch galvanized pipe from the hardware store. A little bit longer than six inches so it hangs out. This is what you're going to mount it on on your pole when you're all finished. On the alternator, there's a mounting bracket with threads in it on the back, a hole. Lay that pipe across the alternator, shim it up so it's nice and smooth across and straight. Make it stick out on one side, I don't know, inch and a half, two inches and keep the other end inside the tube. Bolt it down tight. I'll show you in some pictures how I mounted the alternator to the other pipe cap. Now you also want to cut about a two inch slice off of the six inch PVC pipe and make it stick out just underneath the galvanized pipe. It's about a half an inch. That's going to be the flange where the other half goes together. Now on the tail, take the two inch piece of pipe, drill a hole with a hole saw the same diameter as the galvanized pipe. Saw it off. Now you have a half moon. That will fit over the galvanized pipe. Nice and snug fit. Mine sticks right on there like a spring. Now slide the collar over the tail that part. Drill two inch hole the same size as this in the back of the six inch pipe cap and figure out where this u-shape has to be drilled out. Drill a hole, cut it out. Same size as that pipe. Slide this over after you put the collar on. Put the collar on. You can put it on anywhere. Slide this over and it'll push down on the collar, sliding it into the position. 
Line it up over the pipe. Push it down. Now, remove it, and the collar is in place. That needs to be glued there. So put a draw line around it or something. Glue that in that position. Then find an O-ring, a rubber band, uh, a sponge gasket from a door gasket from a, off a house door. Put it on there. It's going to act like a spring so that when you put the pipe cap on, it puts force down on the two-inch pipe. Now you can't get that out. That's in there forever. Then drill some holes around the outside. Run in some stainless steel screws. Countersink them. And that's in there. Put the tail back in. Tighten the pinch bolt. It's ready to go. Very simple. Now I'm going to show you how to build the, uh, the rotor blades. Very simple again, using the same PVC pipe that you purchased, the 6-inch pipe. And let's get started on that.